When we have an even amount of nodes in a cluster, as we do here, we see we have two nodes in our cluster. They're both 2019 servers. And what can happen is, is if we have an even amount, sometimes those nodes can fight over who's in charge. So what we want to do is we want to add a witness and that witness will take a vote and it will side with either server one or server two, which we also refer to now as node one and node two. It will decide between the two who actually is in charge of any particular resource, such as a file share or application. But what we have to do is we have to add that in. Now, if I go into storage, I've already added in the storage. And if you missed that, just check out the other videos in this playlist and you'll see how to add storage in. We need to have at least a one gigabyte drive. And in this case, uh, you see there's a one gigabyte drive here. Uh, Microsoft says it's somewhere around 800 megabytes you need, but one gigabyte's e easy enough to remember. And what we want to do is we want to make this our disk witness. There's lots of different types of witnesses. And those witnesses all take a vote in order to keep a deadlock tie from happening between your nodes. So what we want to do is we want to right click on our cluster at the top in order to break this tie and click more actions and then configure cluster quorum settings. So click on that and we get a wizard that pops up. So we can choose the default quorum configuration, which allows the cluster to determine our management options. I don't like that idea. I like to do, decide myself what should happen as far as a quorum goes. Now, a quorum basically means that you're going to have the maximum amount of people that are going to vote for something, and then that's the way it's going to work. So in a, for an example is if we have a file share and we have two nodes and they're fighting over that file share, then we can have a witness add an extra vote, and then that will be your quorum. So I'm going to click on select the quorum witness, click next, and we have several options. We can choose to not configure a quorum witness. We can choose a disk witness at the top, which is what I'm going to do. A file share witness will connect to a UNC path to a shared folder in another server. Uh, or we can configure a cloud witness. So basically you can connect to Azure, that kind of thing to uh, have your witness there. I want to choose a disk witness in this case because it's local. So it's going to be a little bit more reliable than a cloud where if I lose internet access, it could cause problems. And I'll click next. And we see it's going to pick automatically um, my one gigabyte drive. So if I had multiple different drives in there, it would let me choose which drive I want. But I've already configured the other drive that's in this to be a cluster shared volume. And if you missed that, you can check out that video in the playlist. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the only other drive that's an option. And fortunately, it's the exact size that I need. So I click next, next again. And now I've successfully configured Quorum by adding my disk witness. So if we end up having a tie, my disk witness will jump in to the Quorum settings and break the tie. And then we'll know which server is going to be in charge of that resource. Check out the other videos in this playlist and you'll see additional help videos for you on setting up and troubleshooting a Windows 2019 cluster. And this also works on older versions as well.